Welcome back to another Turbo Tyler video. Got another Turbo car on the channel, of course. This is a super underrated one in New Zealand anyway. These are a bit more popular in the UK, but still, the spec list that's on these cars, I honestly don't know why they're not as popular as they should be. I'm going to introduce you guys to the owner, talk to you about some of the stuff that this car has on it from standard, and then we'll go out for a drive in it and see what it's moving like. All right, guys, so I'll introduce you to the owner now. This is Justin. Thanks for coming on the channel, bro. I appreciate it. It's all good, man. So, an Astra VXR then. How come you got one of these? Because, like I said in the intro, they're not very common, eh? No, not here in New Zealand. I think there's about 100, between 100 to 200 in the whole country. Oh, okay, yeah. So, it explains why I haven't seen one on the road then. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty rare. Which I like the rarity, um, which is partly, it's a big reason why I bought one. Um, because I want I want people to recognize what it is. I mean, it's, it's badged as a Holden, but... It's got nothing to do with holding. No, this is a this is a Vauxhall to me, and this I think is a Vauxhall or Opal. Yeah, Maybe I think most wrong. of my yeah, I think most of my viewers will see it as a Vauxhall or an Opal as well. Yeah. But like I was saying, I don't know if I mentioned in the intro, this is a stock car, right? Yeah, but it's completely stock. But it's got a, a massive spec list for a stock one. So yeah. from what you told me, we've got under here is a two liter turbo engine, yeah. and it's two hundred eighty brake and four hundred newton meters. Yeah. I think those are super impressive numbers for for a stock car. Like that's yeah. what a Mark V GTI would do tuned. Yeah. So I'm super impressed with that. Yeah. And then I didn't realize until we started talking as well, down here we've got the Brembo brakes with yeah, the- Drilled Brembos with two-piece rotors. Yeah, two-piece rotors on a, on a factory hatchback from a road car. Like that's yeah. super impressive, eh? Alongside the 20 inch wheels. Yeah, they're 20. Some people think are huge, but I feel like this car specifically, it kind of fits. Honestly, I didn't think they were 20s until you told me. I figured yeah. they're like 18s or 19s. So they just, yeah. they fit the car perfectly, eh? Yeah. And then because we've moved around here anyway, We've also got those bucket seats from yeah. factory, so that's super impressive Full as well. Full like. bucket seats with mm. electrical um, bolstering adjustments. So yeah. Whoever gets in can change it to fit them how they mm -hmm. like. Um, and then we've got a got six the six-speed speed manual. Yeah, six-speed manual. It's got an electronic handbrake, which I mean, some people might might clown me for it, but I mean, what am I? I'm not going to handbrake <laughs> handbrake this, am I? So it doesn't bother me, and I feel like it makes the interior cleaner. Yeah, it does without a big a, a big yeah. handbrake lever there yeah. as well. And in that gearbox, they've also thrown in a mechanical LSD, haven't yep. they? Yep. So I think for for what you get for the money, you got a two liter turbo, six speed manual with LSD, bucket seats, and those brakes and the big wheels. Yeah, it's I don't know why. Power yeah, that, yeah, and good power from factory as well. I don't know why these aren't as popular. And and the fact that it's a two door. Mm, yeah, two door. For some people, that's a big deal, and for some people, they don't like it. Yeah, I, I quite like a two door. I like, I like two door. Mm. Yeah. So it's completely stock now, but. Plan on keeping it for a while and, and doing doing a lot to it. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to see what it drives like, man. What'd you say we go out for a drive and see yeah, what it does? Sounds good. Cool. LSD is making it drip. That's yeah, crazy. That's why I wanted dry roads because then you can feel it. Yeah. When it's just when it's wet, I just spin. Like, I have no. Even no with the LSD. Yeah. Wow. But the LSD was on, it drip. LSD, everything I've spin. The LSD was making it drip around that corner though. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, it Jeez, does go like, under. It's under like an no, like, Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's a weird noise, eh? My mate was like, oh, you have an exhaust leak. And I was like, nah, bro, these are just, this is what it sounds like. Watch wow. any stock video online of someone doing a pull or a drive-by outside the car and they all sound like this. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly really impressed with the way it's handling. Yeah. It handles great. <laughs> Brembo's, Brembo's are good Wow, though. the Brembo's are really good, yeah. Man, what a chassis. I'm super impressed. It does pick up, doesn't it? Yeah, it's good. So you put a lag here, and then it just picks up. Yeah. It has got a bit more lag than I was expecting, though. Yeah. But when it's not lagging, it's going, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, pulls well. 
Yeah, it does. I'm really impressed, to be honest, for a stock car. Yeah. So what's the difference when you press the VXR button? Then? So, so this is normal mode. Yeah. And then it's got eco, and I don't, I don't think eco does anything in terms of fuel efficiency, but mm -hmm. it, it has the stop start when you have oh, okay. traffic lights, which yeah. is really annoying. Yeah. So I, I have it on when I'm cruising, just in case it does make a difference. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, mine's well if you've got it. And then sport, it just puts it in lower gears, like a normal, like you know, automatic car. Yeah. But in sport, it does the same thing. It makes the revs higher. Okay. And then being armor, you go straight to that. Yeah. That, that improves the throttle response. That makes the um, steering more direct, and then it stiffens the suspension. Okay. See, that's still third. Now I'm the limit. We can't see the end of the road now, though. But at, at long gear. Yeah. Fuck, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't think we were going to stop there, man. Oh, just left right. I normally oh, go. Right. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, I didn't think we were going to stop then. Yeah, see that one. Wow, that is super noisy. Yeah. Let's see, it, it, I wish I had a bounce, like a limit that bounced. Yeah. It just, it gets limited. Yeah, it just goes. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we're going to do 0 to 100, right? Yeah. See what it's going to do. You don't want to launch it too hard because we no, don't want to break yeah. anything. But It'll be a slow launch. Mm. Um, and but then, then once, 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 I've, once I've got it, then I'll, then I'll go. Okay. Well, the draggy says we're ready, so whenever you're ready, bro, yep. we'll, we'll do it. Do you want to do one more zero to 60? You don't have to do it too hard, but see if you can beat 7.9. Yeah, okay. Only if you're comfortable. Yeah. If you don't want to, then it's all nah, good. Nah, it's all good. All right, this is ready whenever you are, bro. So. so what, you reckon 3K, dump it? Yeah, and then start to feather it. Because you were like, you were like, oh, the goal is seven flat, and then you're like, oh shit! So I thought I was like, pretty much bang on seven flat. Yo, like first try, <laughs> six three, six three. Bro, good car review has got like a six five and shit. Yeah, six oh, that's three. That's so good. That's so. And good. it bogged into second. Yeah. So and I thought I didn't think that was going to be as fast because it, it first it just spun completely. Yeah. And then and, and then, then we, we shifted yeah. into second quick and then bogged. And still got a six. I know. That's why I was like, oh. and it's quoted like six from factory. Oh, that's shit. really fucking well. Um, that's that's, so that's your good. first ever time launching a car as well. Steering's really nice. So it's it's what you like. Yeah. Does it I can feel tell heavy? Straight away. Yeah, it does feel heavy. Yeah. It feels I'd say similar weight to my Focus. So, but you can. Oh, actually, no. I'd say it's pretty similar to my Honda. Closer weight to my Honda. Right. You can tell it's got an LSD. Yeah. Straight away. Yeah. I've driven enough cars that have LSDs versus the ones that don't. So don't. You can tell, you can tell. whether or not yeah. it's got one. 
long gear throws, eh? Yeah, I want, I want a short shifter. Short shift. mm. I want that. Same as my Focus, though. It's super long. Yeah, the Facebook groups, they say short shifter and a throttle controller, and it changes the feeling of the car completely. Are the bolsters on this seat different to what's on your seat? on the Yeah, because one? I've adjusted those to fit me. Yeah, Whereas they're I don't... super tight. It's really, yeah. really good. Are they too tight for you? No, it feels good. Because you're more staunch than me. All right, we'll do it. I'll put my foot down a bit here, then. Yeah, it's all good. Gears are super long, aren't they? They are, yeah. Do you want to do me a favour and just put traction on? Just to on. be safe. Yeah. Because we're on a wet road, it's not my car. Yeah, the rain's come back now, eh? Oh, you can tell it's got an LSD. Yeah. Straight away on the turn, and you can tell that's an LSD. Yeah. Feel fast? Yeah. Does it feel faster than your Focus? Oh, it's 100% faster than the is Focus. It? My Focus is 225 brake. Yeah. Only 322 meters. I'd say this is a good alternative to a GTI. Yeah. I mean, like now. Because Golf's don't have LSD, do they? Wow. No, they don't. Only the Mark 7 um, GTI Performance Pack. Yeah. They've got LSD. Yeah. I, can, I know that box. The Performance LSD. Editions. The yeah. rare ones. Yeah. yeah. Wow, the, the, the turn in grip on this is really impressive. It's good, yeah. Yeah. I really like this car, eh? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> can you see why I wanted one? Yeah. <laughs> See, part of me wishes they were more popular here, so that when I go to meets, I see others. Yeah. But then I also, but I also like being the only one at meets. Yeah. So it's kind of best of both worlds. I don't well, know. I um, I honestly thought this was just going to be a normal Astra with a two-liter turbo thrown into it. I wasn't really? expecting it to have such a good gearbox, amazing steering feel, really good steering. And all feel. the specs as well. Yeah, with like. the LSD and the brakes, like I'm not even pressing them really hard there. Yeah, exactly. It's the, really well. Yeah. So I'm super impressed. Like that wasn't, I wasn't really even on the throttle then. This is a fun road though. Yeah, it is a good road. And even in the wet, wow, the brakes. <laughs> Super impressed. Because what are, what are the brakes on your Focus? They're just standard just kind of standard, Ford ones, eh? Yeah, 320mm discs, I think. Yeah. It screams though, eh? Yeah. You can see why my mate thought I had an exhaust leak. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't. Brakes. I'm really impressed with this car. These <laughs> Thanks, are super man. underrated. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it caught my eye straight away as soon as I saw one online, you know, overseas. I'm in second now. So, see, there's a bit of lag, and then I'm just kicking. Super unique sound, eh? Yeah. guys that's it for today's video super impressive car i wasn't expecting it to be this at all thanks man for coming on the channel Good appreciate man. it bro if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit that subscribe button like leave a comment let me know what you thought of the astra and i'll see you guys in the next one